In a bid to stem the tide of the unchecked migration of highly skilled labor through a phenomena more commonly referred to as the Jakba syndrome, the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Baru Jibrin, has called on Nigerian youth to resist the urge of migrating out of the country. The Deputy Senate President made this known on the sidelines of the 2024 conference and six national discourse held under the auspices of the Companion, an association of Muslim men and women in business and the professions themed between patriotism and self-preservation. The event, which held in Abuja, had various guest speakers speak on topical issues, particularly as it affects the unchecked brain drain of highly skilled human resource. It was a cerebral and non-partisan conversation engaging an extensive spectrum of participants, including those from the academia, politics, business, as well as civil service professionals, all of whom share a common faith and believe in the oneness of Allah. Speaking with newsmen, engineer Camille Olalika, the national Amir of the Companion, emphasized on the need for collaborative efforts between the government and the people in order to meaningfully address the various discontent within the nation. The government should just make sure that the policy they have already put in place, they put you know, life into it. Life into it in the sense that let them not just throw money at all those programs. They must create a system that must work. The problem with our, our government is that we don't have implementation, sustainable implementation program that may make us to realize the lofty uh, goals for which all those programs were designed. Various participants expressed their thoughts on the importance of events of this nature to the larger human society. Um, all we shall continue to do is to encourage our youth to remain here. Um, Nigeria has a lot of opportunities. We have a lot of potentials, natural resources, name them, that if we remain here and try to um, look at the, you know, the endowments given to us by God, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will be home and, I mean, will be okay. So there isn't any need to think of uh, not making it here. You can make it here. I believe with this type of uh, program, if we can have this type of program on and on, from there the youth will understand what is happening there. You know sometimes when you are watching a, mo when you are watching a football, you will be thinking that you can play more than that person that is playing. Meanwhile, you can't even try it. Do you understand? So the holding the flags of foreign countries, they don't know what it implies there. You don't know what is happening there. You don't know what their own youth are passing through. But the best thing is for us to come together and think. Use your own sense. What are the things that you are good in doing? What do you think you can use in order to help yourself and help the community at large as a youth? The event boasted a catalogue of eminent personalities, including Right Honorable Tajdi Abbas, who was represented as the chairman of the occasion, Dr. Jamila Ibrahim, Minister of Youth Development, Honorable Abike Dabiri Erewa, the CEO of the Nigerian Diaspora Commission, and Professor Abdul Rashid Nahala, a two-time former Vice-Chancellor of the Kwara State University and the University of Abuja respectively, as guest speakers. Daniel Obi, ASO Television News.